Hi guys, welcome back. So with spring being around the corner and Valentine's Day also being a few days away, I decided that I would show you guys a cute little lovey-dovey section here on Family Search, all about marriages. So this is the homepage of Family Search. Once you sign in, you will have to sign in for this to work. Um, and here in the front middle, we'll have activities. Generally, you could click left and right and see activities but they just want me to add photos. Um, and then underneath that is recent memories that people have added to um, family members on your family tree. And then on the right hand side is recommended tasks for you to do. We're not gonna use any of that. Thought it was gonna be up here because I saw it the other day being right here, but it's not working right now. So we're gonna go the other way. So if you don't see up here in the beginning, like I am, we're going to go to familysearch.org forward slash cam campaign slash marriages. Already he had already typed it in for me. That's so nice. Okay, so familysearch.org forward slash campaign forward slash marriage. And once you type that in, it should bring you to a page that looks like this. Um, and it's going to show you marriages that are in your family tree. It's not going to show you all the marriages in your family tree, just ones that they felt like were important to show and actually have a marriage record. I would assume that's why they're doing it, because they have a marriage record that you can view. So this is our first couple that we're going to view. And looking at the people, it's going to be the same for everybody. It's going to have their name, their photo, their birth year, death year, their ID on family search and view relationship. And see, it's the same for the female and the male. If you click on their name, it should bring you up to their personal page here on family search. Yep. It has brought us to Eva Jacobs' personal page here on family search where I can learn more information about her if I so choose to. Okay, then like I said, her photo, which if you click on it, it doesn't do anything. Same with the birth year, death year, and ID number. But if we click on view our relationship, we can view our relationship with Eva here. So let's click on that. And it has now brought up this pop-up box showing my relationship, or technically my husband's relationship, to Eva Jacobs. I always like this part where you can view the relationship because sometimes I look at these names and I'm like, I don't know who this is. So I'm going to close that. And the same goes for Jesse Reader. If we click on his name, it'll take us to his personal page. This is his personal page. Back. View our relationship. It's going to bring us the pop up box where we can view our relationship. Now you can see how my husband's related to Jesse Fruit. Okay, so the big main event right here in the middle, it's gonna talk about their marriage. Kind of up here at the top. Up here at the top it says this match was made in Idaho. Then here in the middle it says they were married December 12th, 1906, 1906 in Boise, Idaho. Then right underneath that, we can click view record and we will be able to see their marriage record. Let's click on that. Oh, first it's gonna pull up the index version of their marriage record saying that the event is for a Jesse Reader fruit, and the marriage type, the date happened, place, Idaho, it says Ada. That's the city. And then the spouse's name is Eva and the digital number for it. And then over here off to the side is a picture of the original document and we can click on that in the original document, the original marriage certificate. So let's click on that. And here is the marriage record for Jesse and Eva. So down here at the bottom, it actually has the index typed version of what you're going to see on the document for those of you who can't read cursive 
or can't read what the document says very well. And we can just close that or open that and so we can view that. Um, you can go to the next tab, which is information, and it will give you the information about the document. So it says that this is a marriage record. It's in Idaho County Marriages. So once again, we can just close that or open that to view that. I'm going to close it so we have more of the document. And then over here on the right hand side, we have a plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to have to zoom in just so we can see some names over here on the right hand side. Um, if you clicked on the bunch of little dots here, you're going to get the whole book. So it's going to bring up the pages of the book. We don't really need that. We only need the one page, single image. Then underneath that is going to make it full screen, not full screen. And then over here on the top left hand side is the print and download option. If you so choose to print or download the document. And then tools, so you can adjust the image and rotate it, just in case that the image is sideways. Or adjust the brightness and the contrast on it. You just click on that and then slide, make it easier to view. Or sometimes if it's really, really, really hard to see and the adjusting image isn't working, you can invert the photo. Actually, sometimes really does help to invert it back. So that's kind of how it would work to view the marriage certificate if you've never viewed a document here on Family Search. But see, we can now view their marriage record for a Jesse R. Fruit. He married to Eva Jacobs, Idaho. Boise right there. And we get to view the rest of the marriage record down here. So it says that the person was the one who was residing, the minister, where it happened, the state, and the people, and more people's names and where they're from. You get to learn so much about your ancestors just by viewing this. Then Everybody gets their document. Then the time that the document was filled out. It's kind of cool to see all this information about Jesse and Eva just by looking at their marriage record. So that's what a marriage record looked like in Idaho during, what was it, 1806 they got married? So now you know. Close those. So if you want to view more uh, marriages or marriage records, you could just hit the arrows on the side to go left and right and view those. I don't think I have any more ancestors with photos. If these ones don't have photos. But they got married, it says up here, they got married in the United States in Georgia in 1835. Let's see what's on the other side of it. These guys got married in Denmark. Ooh, that would be cool to see what their marriage looks like, their marriage certificate. Let's view it. So once again, the woman is always on the left-hand side. We click on her name, it would take us to her personal page. She doesn't have an image, so you just get this cute little girl icon. We can click on the bottom and view our relationship, and one same goes for the male. They're on the right-hand side. We can click on their name to go to their personal page or view their relationship. If they don't have an image, they just have this icon. We're going to click in the center and view their marriage record. So once again, it's going to pull up the index version, the typed version of their marriage record. That way you can read it and understand it. And then off to the right hand side is a photo of the original document. So let's click on that. And then once again, it's going to have a typed index version at the bottom, just in case you can't read it. I'm going to keep it up because I am very much suck at reading cursive. And I'm going to go to the right-hand side and zoom in. See if I can find Peter. I think this one's his because I haven't found anybody else that has it on theirs. So this is what a Danish marriage certificate for early 18, mid-1800s looked like. 
Looks like they put their names, what their occupation is, and age. I don't know. I can't read it. <laughs> I think heavens they have an index version at the bottom. See, that's kind of cool that we can see records for other countries and other languages. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to close it. And then once again, I could just scroll through and view other ones. So we have one for Mexico, one for the United Kingdom, one for Denmark. Oh, yay, we have another photo. Four for Denmark, another one for Georgia. Oh, look, these guys have photos. So you could just scroll through and view all the marriage records in your family tree. I'm going to scroll down so that we can look at more on this page. So what they want to do right here is they want to teach you about marriage records. Obviously, as we saw, they're going to be in different languages and they're not all going to be set up the same. But right here is going to tell you about, going to briefly tell you about how marriage certificates work. Um, you're going to have to have somebody who officiates the record, um, generally somebody who's part of the church. Then you're going to have to have witnesses, which are often relatives or close family members of friends. And then we're going to have to have the signatures saying that it is them and that they approve of being married together. So that's what you're generally going to find on every marriage certificate. And that's pretty much it for the page. If we keep scrolling down, it's just going to say talk to your family history consultant if you need some help. So this is the cute little marriage section here on Family Search where you can view some of your ancestors' marriage records from all around the world. Uh, at least in my case, it's all around the world. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you actually go and take the time to view this section on Family Search because it's really cool, especially right now around Valentine's Day and spring when love is in the air, to get that reassurance of marriage and know that people from all over the world, from all different time frames and all different walks of life, fell in love and got married. And now we can see their marriage certificate and see how long their marriage lasts, hopefully till they died. Hopefully they died of old age. And we get to see how many of those are in our family tree or hear their stories um, about love. And help us, you know, fall in love with love again and help us have faith and hope that love works. So I hope you guys enjoy this section and you view it on your family tree. If you guys have any questions, um, please comment below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have any suggestions on anything else I should film, please also comment below. And I hope you guys all have a beautiful week. Bye.